Terry Mungai is a trained marketer who worked for different corporate organizations in the country and last served the Diners group of companies for 13 years before losing her job after the company was declared insolvent. With no immediate fallback plan, Terry's world almost came to an end, but she did not despair. The incident gave her a perfect opportunity to execute an idea she had toyed with for years. We were all devastated because we weren't ready to go into uh, alone, but uh, the, the opportunity um, presented itself. The sudden departure from her previous job meant no severance package, and Terry had to seek startup capital from a financial institution to take over an already existing salon. Her idea was to try and revolutionize the salon business and make it more appealing. Going to a salon or to a barber shop was, was something you endured, not something you enjoyed, and I wanted to change that. Two years later, her business started looking up, giving her room for expansion. Using her marketing background, Terry saw an opportunity in capturing the unexploited male clientele, giving rise to exclusive executive barber shop idea. We had invested over 2.5 million in those days, 1994, that was a lot of money and the, the, the servicing of the loan was a big, big challenge. I actually thought I had made a mistake. Several years down the line, Ashley's has grown leaps and bounds with over nine branches spread across the city, three in Westlands, two in the city centre and one each in Buruburu, Karubangi and Ruaka. The beauty shop which provides tailor-made services cutting across all the social classes serves at least 100 clients a day. If I marketed for diners and it was successful the way it was successful, what about doing it for myself? Ashley's also prides itself in serving high-profile clientele ranging from top government officials, corporate executives and individuals who have helped turn around the business. 90% of, of, of our parliamentarians, they are our clients, uh, ranging from the MPs, assistant ministers, um, now prime minister who started being our client before he was a prime minister, even when he was in opposition, um, and we keep our clientele. Ashley's has also added a training school to its table, operating three academies to meet the ever-growing demand for beauticians. So far, over 4,000 graduates have gone through the academies in the last six years. Before, we were competing. Now, I became a blessing because I supplied staff to all of them. For its reputation, Ashley's was awarded the contract to organize the Miss World Kenya edition and Miss Tourism Beauty Contest from 1999 to 2001. Yeah. For Terry, the horizon is the limit. She intends to expand the business throughout the country and East Africa through franchising. For ambition, Terry has also diversified into the property market where she is a real estate agent. Despite losing her job in former employment, Terry quickly picked herself up and with determination and hard work, she has built one of the most reputable businesses in beauty. For Movers and Shakers, I'm Tony Sanger.